Right, you probably got a few questions on a few bits that you got for Christmas. You don't know how to put them on your bike, you don't know how they work. You got a few questions to ask, so you send them to ask at gmbn.com or hashtag ask in the comments down below. Yeah, absolutely. And you have got the dream team yes, you today. Are. The dream team. And we are going to get straight into your questions. Blake, are you ready? I'm ready. You need to prepare yourself because the first question is from Hydro. And he's saying, are rims and hubs discipline specific? I'm going to say yes straight away. Yeah. They yeah, are. They are really, because if you think about it, they're doing lots of different jobs in those different disciplines. Mm -hmm. But rims are, you know, taking impact. Hubs are taking the force of the drive of your pedal through the chain. Um, so there's lots going on. And obviously, between the disciplines, those uh, impacts and forces are very different. Yes. So they make their products specific to those. Um, you probably could get away with running a downhill rim while you're doing enduro. You could, yeah. Um, yeah. You, but you couldn't probably use a cross-country rim on a downhill bike so yeah. you can only go so far yeah, with yeah. it but I think but, the yeah. hubs can venture across each discipline depending yeah, on how bigger. heavy you use that hub so you can have an XC hub on an Enduro bike yeah because of the lightness and you want the lightweight but then you have a heavy duty rim to take the impact so you use the downhill one or you know yeah. vice versa and stuff like that so simple answer, yes they are, um, but we got into it a little bit. We did, yeah. We got into it, got as much as we could. Um, right, Calvin Chang, what's the difference between a scrub and a whip? Oh, there's a lot. Yeah. So a scrub, you want to keep low to the ground. So, for example, you've got this big lump, there's nothing over there to land on, So you and you're coming in really fast. So you want to scrub over this bump to keep as much speed as you can instead of launching it to flat into the abyss. And then the whip is using a big, huge jump. You're getting the bike up in there, getting it all sideways, giving it the big whip, and then carrying on. Yeah, so I guess at the peak of the jump, they're kind of similar. Kind of similar. But if you move the ground up to your yes. bike in the whip, you yeah. kind of be in the same yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, one's about having no height. Yes. The other. Trying to keep your speed by scrubbing it. Trying to go as high as you can. Um, Brian Zantz, who's a regular. Thanks, Brian, for more questions. Um, do new flat pedals really make a difference? Um, or should I buy new shoes? I'm going to say yes. What? To new, both? New pedals. Oh, it's a good thing. Yes, yeah. Because you've got an extra spike on that. Yeah. But then you can, if you've got, just look at your old pedals. If your old pedals are got really worn spikes on them and you're getting not much grip on it, you can get these little revamp kits, refreshing kits. You can get new pins, put them in, it changes the pedal completely. Yeah, it makes it feel really grippy. And new shoes, if you move over to something that's using the rubber technology that's come from climbing, something like a 510 using stealth rubber um, or other things, uh, other brands that do that kind of shoe, you're going to find that they grip to a pedal like so crazy. So it, crazy. it, 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 it almost nice. feels like too much, a little bit similar to clips, mm. I think. Um, they really, really do make a massive difference. So that's definitely worth a try. Um, and while we're on the subject, why don't we take a look at this video where we try to find out, do flat pedals win medals? Uh, right, Max Ferry says, I'm six foot five. That's massive. And I've outgrown my XL frame. Where do I go from here? You got doddy problems. You got doddy <laughs> issues. Yeah, you got doddy issues. <laughs> you got Yeah. Well you've got the doddy issue or the kneel issue. Are you getting too big or you're too yeah. tiny? Yeah. But you know what? I don't think size is an excuse. No. Right, because as tiny as Neil is, <laughs> and a, even as small is much, much too big for him. Yeah, that's he, true. His skill level means he adapts and he still makes it look. Yeah. So I think you can't use size as an excuse. And to prove at the upper end, opposite end of the scale, but someone like Martin Soderstrom, mm -hmm. I mean, he's like. He's seven foot. Seven foot nine. Yeah. He's a, he is actually huge. He, he is, is massive. So he's tall. tall. Um, and when we took a look at his dirt jump bike, which is a tiny little bike as well, um, it's amazing to see how he can make that work. So there's no excuses on size. XL probably works. You've just got to make your skill and your riding style suit it. But take a look at this video of Martin's bike to prove that point. This is Martin Soderstrom's Pro Bike Check on a specialized P3 dirt jump bike slash slope style bike.
Okay, we've got a difficult question here, Blake. Um, oh. I, I think you're going to be torn between two ideas. Okay. Philip Wachter says, is it more beneficial to buy a dirt jump bike right. and equip it with a front brake? Okay, yeah. Or buy a street trials bike um, or an aggressive hard trial for some trials basics and learning how to jump using pump tracks, etc. So think a bit of an all round street trick stunty bike. What would you go for? Let's simplify it. Dirt jump with a front brake, or just dirt jump bike, or street trials bike. Dirt jump go. bike. This is a predictable answer because I'm going to go trials bike, <laughs> right? Because, yeah, but you can do everything on a street trials bike. You can ride skate park, you can ride pump track, you can ride. It's not the same thing. That's like saying Kenny Ballet is the same as Danny Mac. Same thing. Doing trials. You've got I've got five. So it's definitely a street trials bike. I've got one more than you. That's it, Philip. You're buying yourself a street trials bike and it's going to be amazing. I promise you. I'm right. You are true. You are going to. But not. go 26 inch wheel because you have a lot more tyre choice. 24 is yes. cool. Really cool, yeah. but more tyre choice on the 26. Okay, Smith Bar says 26, wheel, 26 inch wheels, then 29 inch wheels, <laughs> then 27.5 inch wheels. Uh, goes to prove it's a money making racket. Oh, mm, no, 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 it's not. no, no, no. I don't, I don't believe it. It's not. No, it's not. A lot of people out there think that all these wheel sizes, just so you'll buy new bikes with new geometry and new wheels. No one in the no one in the cycling purpose. industry is thinking like no, exactly. that. Exactly, they're trying to progress the sport and how yeah. the bikes feel and how they ride. Yep. Um, and I genuinely don't think it's about just making a load of cash. Mm -mm. I just I, I think the interest in cycling is high enough. It's not peaked. Yeah, everyone's yeah. excited about riding, but it's not because there's just new wheel sizes. The bikes are getting better and better and they're more fun. And, Yes, you know, 29 is good for XC and all that. I don't, I don't believe it. Yeah. Five. Yeah, I mean, 29, Euro. 29 has really found its place in some cross country racing. Mm. People really prefer like the way it uses it. Guys, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you've got people who've really dug in at 27.5. You've got the downhill riders. They're trying 29 ers or... Yeah. Well, next question, Ben Clark, using a 27.5 inch wheel as an example, which part of it is actually 27.5 inch? So, so which bit is it? Is the diameter of the rim or is it the outer diameter of the inflated tyre? The outer diameter of the rim. Ah, okay. I see. Yeah, because if, yeah, if you measured it to the outside of the tyre, then a 29er would be a... Like a 30 or something. Yeah, right. And if okay, you had yeah. a, you know, plus size 27.5, that could be 29 inches. Yes, it could, yes. And actually some plus tyres will go into a 29, yeah, geometry. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, and so talking about 25, uh, 26 inch wheels and 29s or 27.5, this year there was a bit of an uproar in downhill mm -hmm. where they started using 29ers yeah. for downhill racing. So let's take a look at this video where I asked some of the top pros what they thought about that change. It was controversial. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? How do they feel? What's your view? I'm enjoying riding mine, so yeah, it's a good thing for me, you know, it's fast up there, it makes it easier, I guess, a little bit, so that ena enables you to go a bit faster, so yeah. I mean, you're a racer, you want the fastest equipment, so I totally get your point of view, but I guess I've been speaking to some privateers and they're obviously feeling like, how are we ever going to keep up? Is it like an unfair advantage or is it is that just the evolution of the sport? They were fine when it changed from 26 to 27, so... It's hard to argue with, isn't he? God, that was super controversial. It was. Controversial of, times in downhill. A lot of uh, frustrated human beings in the downhill world. Yes, yes. Who will be on 29ers in 2018? Hmm. Well, I'll have to find out. Okay, quick fire round, Blake. Ooh, okay. Ready? Yes, ready. Quick, precise answers right. to a lot of questions. Okay. A lot of pressure. I, I feel it. Carry on. Okay, here we go. Mitch Warren says, if I get socks and pants this year, I've specifically instructed Father Christmas to go to the GMBN site. Well done. Well yes. done. Thank you. I hope you got them. Thanks for the support. I hope you got um, them. Gustav Voldvari says, how many people work for GMBN? <gasps> you, me, Doddy, Neil, Aidan behind the camera. Five. Jack. Jack. Six. Well, and Phil, really. 
There's a, actually there's a few. There's a few. We can't Neil's half though. <laughs> Next question. Ryan Garner looking to buy a pair of enduro downhill brakes. Got around 200 pounds. Shimano Saint. Four pot. Brilliant. That's a good shout. Very good shout. SRAM guide. Yeah, I go kind of Saint. I reckon. Saint. Right. Yeah. Sram's Buddy No says, um, if I go and buy a slope style bike, what do you think is better, gears or single speed? Single speed. Two brakes or one? One. Slope style bike. Yeah, I got one brake. All right. One. Okay. I'm going on what I got. All right. War Puppy says, how do I get comfortable with clip pedals? Put them on. Go crash a lot. Yeah. You don't have to crash a lot. They're not as dangerous yeah, as you Last time I used them, I couldn't unclip and I fell on the floor. Yeah, not like good, really. Why I stick yeah. flat pedals? Lots of practice. You'll be fine. And soon you'll wonder why you were ever worried. Yeah. Um, Clue Me MTB says, uh, tried to talk in an American accent. <gasps> um, I have very small hands. They're the smallest you've ever seen. <laughs> They're really, really small. <laughs> I can't. That's spot on. <laughs> Who was that? Donald Trump or something? I don't know. Well, that's what I was trying. Let's go, Steve says. Which bars are better at minimising trail buzz, aluminium or carbon? Trail. Oh, like trail. Um, yeah. Ah. Well, aluminium. I would say aluminium. Carbon. Ah. Uh, I've never experienced. I'm going to be honest. I've never experienced trail buzz. No, I have actually. Well, I have, oh, yes. In a stoked way. <laughs> like carbon oh, fiber. Yes. Carbon fiber. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I'm not sure on that one. I've got to be honest. I'm not sure on that carbon. one. Carbon. So um, that slowed me down, though. It, so I think we're going to have to call that the end of the quick round. Oh, okay. I had to really think on that last question. Yeah. It was a good question to end on there. Yeah, it was a good one. So there's quick fire for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Give some more questions for next week. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, okay. This is your opportunity. You send us in videos and we try and fix your problems in your riding try style. To. Try. Yeah. It's not always possible, mm. but we do our best. And I think we can do it this week because we've got a great one here from Chris Hearn, who's in Newfoundland in Canada. Um, he's attempting a gap from concrete to downslope at Ooh, his university. Okay. It's really cool, actually. Nice line. It looks like he's not quite getting it. Into it eh? Pre hop in. Okay. Oh, he's he's got he's got the technique. He's like squished the whole bike into the floor, getting ready yeah. for that pre-hop pop into that bank. Let's see it one more time. But you can see how it comes in. If the, bun up, if the bun so, up was a bit bigger, he didn't. I mean, he, he needs to drop yeah. that front end in. Do you know what he needs to do? He's brought up the front end. Yeah. He needs to bring up his rear. Yeah. So like, curl your feet on the pedals, bring it yeah. up, and then. Dip the front end yeah. that bank. I mean, what's going to feel really fast on that move, Chris, is getting that front end down into the slope. Because yeah. if you're using it out on the trail, you're going to want to be get, dropping getting that front in, end yeah. in. Yeah. And if you were going into a stair set or something like that on the street, you don't want to be landing back or first, unless you're going for the manual, no, ah, yeah. which could be really nice. Mm. Um, hope that helps. Um, it does sound like just a, a bigger bunny op's going to solve it, uh, which just means a bit of practice on the basics really think about getting that front end in because that will throw the back end up flying down that slope um, send your videos in to correct me if I'm wrong quite easily um, ask at gmbn.com is the email we'll take a look and see if we can have a look at your riding style and maybe make some adjustments and improve your riding yeah well hopefully you loved Ask GMBN on 28th yes yeah. New Year's coming up but if you want to see another video my favorite video of the year has to be Mr. Ashton's video yeah oh, out in Whistler so good yeah so, so good and I'll tell you what video I love was that old Blake Samson he went to nine nights yeah. click over here and you can take a look at that it was fabulous it was amazing riding and an, one very good photo yes yeah that one that, um, that was a really good that one, one that right, actually did. Yeah, yeah, that one was really good. Yeah, that one was yeah. good. Yeah. And click on the old logo there to subscribe. You get a brand new video every day of the week. And of course, give it a thumbs up like if you liked it. And then you end the video. You press the